Next up, she's uh, one of only three women left in the competition. She's hoping that doesn't make a crowd. Linda Lusardi. The music that Dan and Linda is going to this week is called Mickey. And it's inspired by cheerleading, but very, very fast. One, two, three, four, up. It's probably the fastest routine we've done together, isn't it? It is. I'm trying not to panic. I can see the look of fear on her face, though. The routine's nowhere near being ready yet. And I am panicking a bit because there's loads and loads in it. Bum. Bum. I haven't got these right. Still struggling with her cheerleader moves, just three days before the live show, Linda decides to get some lessons from the North London Wildcats. That's fantastic. Wow, I can't believe how high we jump. I know. Our routine is a cheerleading routine. It's Hey Mickey, so we really need your tips, if that's all right, if you can help us out. Yeah, definitely. We can run through some maybe fast, energetic moves with you, some dance moves, some yeah, pom-poms. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's more sort of the Give you a bit of an inkling. Yeah. Yeah. It's just to get that feel of what cheerleaders do because they're quite different moves to what you do naturally skating. Go Linda! <laughs> Linda Lusani is rocking the floor. When she's done, she'll be begging for more. Go Linda! Skating to Mickey. Please welcome onto the ice Linda Lusani and Daniel Wister. Spinning donut finish from Dancing on Ice's first cheerleader. Linda resplendent as the all-American girl who wouldn't have been out of place in the Super Bowl. That's her spin at the start. Very good. She was pleased with that. Will she be our MVP tonight, our most valuable player? That's the handstand with kick. And then the donut finish. 17 has been her highest mark so far. Karen, 3.5. Nikki, 3. Jason, 3. Ruthie, 3. Robin, 3. That gives her a total of 15.5. Ooh, 15.5. That's your lowest score, I think. I can't answer. I can't breathe. <laughs> would you like me not to talk? <sighs> talk to him first. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so, I mean, I would have thought that that one, that, that song, that track, and Visit to the Cheerleaders, you know, you'd have been, you'd have been much more confident with that. Yeah, one. it's probably the most difficult routine we've had so far. Uh, really fast. Uh, and it's hard to get over that panic. I can see it in Linda's eyes sometimes. She's yeah. panicking, but I think she did really, really well. You didn't like the spin because th it was a solo spin that you broke your foot in training, it wasn't was. it? It was. I did have a mental block on it, but mm. uh, Dan was there to catch me if it went wrong, so... Yeah. Guys? I think, I think you've had lots of fun with this routine, really. Uh, but as Dan said, it is a difficult one. It's, it's fast again. 
Um, and I think you coped with it all really well. And I can understand your worry about the spin because we wouldn't want that to happen again, would we? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Holly. Well, we all seem to really enjoy it here, but Ruthie, it's our lowest score of the evening. Yeah, I mean, um, Linda, you have grace and you are, um, whatever you're given, you have a point of view with it, and I love that, um, and you have fun. But to me, it looks like you're just stuck to Daniel all the time. It's, I, I never feel like you are skating. Didn't I feel you like me you're on my own going all the way down the ice? On two feet. On two feet. On two feet. Robin, you're probably better to answer this. You're saying there, she's on two there feet. are two different skaters when you're on the ice. There's the one when you've got down by the hand and when you're being lifted, and that is fantastic. And then there's a tentative Linda, who's cautious, and it and it notices. There's a there's, for me there's a marked change. And yes, down gliding on two feet on your ice. The spin was on two feet. I know, you know, Dan's helping. I just really think you have great lines. You have all the ability. You need to believe in yourself. And as we talked about two weeks ago, let yourself go without him. OK, thanks, judges. Thank you. Thanks, Holly. Well, if our soap star got you all in the lather, then give her your votes when we open the lines very shortly. Linda and Daniel. <laughs> like all our stars, Linda is desperate to be here next week, but how would you like to be here in the audience next Sunday? Be in with a chance to win a trip to Dancing on Ice for you and a friend, including travel, accommodation and £1,000 spending money. Just watch this clip and correctly answer the question. In Series 2 of Dancing on Ice, Claire Buckfield performed to What a Feeling. What a Feeling is a song that originally appeared in which film? Call 09012934934. Calls cost £1 from BT Landlines. Calls from mobiles and other networks may be higher. Or text your answer to 83000. Text cost £1 plus one standard network rate reply message. Digital satellite and cable viewers can enter by pressing their red button now. Or enter online for free at ITV.com. Entrance must be 18 or over and lines close at midday on Monday. Entries made after closing time won't be counted but might still be charged. So hopefully we'll see you next week. Still to come, Chris Fountain attempting that tabletop lift. See you after the break. <laughs>